With the influx of migrant workers into Argentina in the late 19th century, men greatly outnumbered women. In order to impress the ladies, men practiced together to learn this new dance and hopefully find a bride. Tango, A Story with Jews, is a remarkable film directed by Gabriel Pomeraniak that shows from the start Jews played an important role. My documentary tells the story about how the uh, Eastern Europe uh, Jewish came to Argentina and influenced the beginning of tango. The Jews didn't come to our lands to make America para enriquecerse y, y luego regresar, simplemente porque no tenían dónde regresar. Venían con la ansiedad y la esperanza de encontrar aquí su rincón definitivo para vivir. Junto con italianos, españoles, afroporteños, franceses, y en esa mezcla tan rara, tan original, en ese proceso maravilloso de asimilación, se fue recreando la cultura popular del Río de la Plata en general, del tango en particular. At first, there was the limited repertoire of the barrel organ. In 1850, Heinrich Band from Germany marketed a new invention. Arturo Bernstein was its first virtuoso performer and he taught the new musicians. Tango was now married to the Bandonium. A tango, un mechaber et anashim. Un mechabek et anashim. A talo ya jolirkot, bli liot karovila, bli le argishoto. As ze gam style. כן? זה גם סטייל של תקופה, של צורת חיים, של הבאה. Jewish immigrants brought their own instruments. Klezmer had found a natural partner. From the 1920s, tango was a huge hit in Europe, where a parallel tango industry was developing. גם כן אירוע מאוד חשוב, לדאבוננו היא גם מפורסמת מאוד, הייתה הגירה של יהודים, היו סוחרי זונות. הם קנו להם בית, בית עלמים בשבילם, היה להם בית כנסת, לא רחוק מפה, ברחוב קורדובה, היה להם בית כנסת, והם עשו חיים יהודיים. Tango has a prostitutional past. It was developed in the brothels because it was an immoral dance. So you could only dance it perhaps in the brothels, but there is always a bad boy from a good family that goes to the brothel, learns to do the tango steps, and then his parents uh, send him to Europe. And this bad boy from the good family tells his friends in France, hey, look what I learned in a brothel in Buenos Aires. Show me. Well, this gentleman there uh, is Carlos Gardel, our, one of our Argentine myths, together with Che Guevara, Evita Perón, Maradona, and Carlos Gardel. Because of the way he sang, he started a new way of singing tango, and he really was the beginner of the tango for export. <laughs> שחקן שקראו לו הרמן יבלקוף חיבר וקוראים לו פפירוסן. פפירוסן זה סיגריות. קופי צ'קויב צ'קויב ג'פפירוסן טריקן אפן רייגני שפרגוסן. חיישון מיליק בן אמונס פוי תונות אוי תמיר רחמונס רטה בתונום גרם לחצי Thank you.
vera io se me derg wicken um sis mein schreien und mein läufen I was really surprised when Jose told me the story about the connection of the Holocaust and, and tango. I didn't know about that. Uh, when Jewish people were captured by the Nazis, like part of my family, they made music in that camps. Uh, between a few hundred of songs that were made there, 38 were tangos and one in special now is known like death tango because it was used um, that the, the, the Nazis push the Jewish to play that song while they were walking to death. Uh, my father always used to say that the best tango musicians were, especially in the violin, were Jews and the person who installed for the nation the National Day of Tango, which is December 11, which celebrates the day Carlos Gardel was born, his name was Moses, so he was a Jew. <laughs> Moses Smolarczyk Brenner is the legendary Ben Molar. Max Glucksmann owned record companies, movie houses. He brought the tango from the slums into the theater. He sold most of the tango music in South America. Tango had a difficult upbringing, but today enjoys a new golden age. It's danced in milongas world over, and in the Buenos Aires Port La Boca, it's still danced in the streets where it started 150 years ago.